this is a very important point. Mm -hmm. I mean, I am putting it not very uh, neatly, but it is a very important point. When Albert Einstein was right. offered the presidency of Israel, he turned it down uh -huh. because he was a scientist. He w has reached the top of that hierarchy. He didn't want to shift into a general hierarchy and become the president of Israel. In India, the aim of every scientist ultimately is to first become a vice chancellor, then maybe a deputy minister of education, mm -hmm. and then maybe even get a new assignment. Right. The guy exactly. running the show is a manager, <laughs> not a scientist. <laughs> Absolutely. And so basically, if you are a professor, you have to be a better manager than a discoverer or an inventor mm -hmm. because that's not going to get you anywhere. Mm -hmm. What is going to get you anywhere is do you know your, if you're in an agricultural ministry, do you know your agriculture minister so that he can give you that post mm -hmm. rather than have you invented a new seed because who really cares about the seed, you know? You better so, know the so, guy. So there's no, that, that, that kind of status <laughs> is not there for the scientists. The prestige and the, uh, and, and, the, and the status in society is not there. Look at the uh. way uh, book launches take place. Yeah. I mean, the first thing they will do is not to invite yeah, another writer who is very good. They will invite a minister or deputy minister given half to a chance. To release the book. Release the book. <laughs> I've invited a <laughs> minister. <laughs> I've invited, invited a minister, minister and a writer. Minister. Shashi Tharoor is a writer. He's also a writer. I'm but covered. you know, I have yeah. another, so, I have an interesting viewer comment mm. here that, you know, it, it, let's talk a little bit of the social sciences. Just to divert a little bit, the, the social scientists in America have come up with these big phrases, you know, clash of civilizations, orientalism, mm -hmm. the end of history. What the viewer is asking is, why don't Indian social scientists come up with the same kind of defining theses? No, they have done so. I mean, they have not been uh, picked up, really speaking, because the kind of uh, uh, rich Indian social sciences have is poor. Indian publishers are in not interested. But in terms of the big idea, Indian publishers like in also publish well for India, at most for South Asia. I yeah. mean, look at the way Indian publishers market their books. I mean, many of my friends have shifted mm -hmm. to Western publishers, not because uh, of the money, but because the rich. They, they we, have a, we have a problem managing talent, I think. That's mm -hmm. the main yes. point, whether it's yes, in science. I think so. That's if a very we, good point. We just have a, we, we, we have a lot of talent and we have a problem identifying it, but maybe sometimes we but can identify it. But we're not identify. confident enough but to go and sell it, what we're do not we confident do with enough it? to lobby for it. We, we don't know what to do with it, should we reward it, but if we reward it, then is the talent morally wrong, you mm -hmm. know, like we say, why is he asking for money, why is he asking for recognition, It's if he's mm -hmm. so talented, he should do it mm -hmm. for the nobility That's of right. it. We, we are, as a nation, still not very clear on the idea right. of what do we do with talent. And, you know, it's still much easier to accept like a star's son will become a star, it's mm -hmm. better. If I tell you, a yeah, we can't accept it. It's very difficult for us to accept a talented person. If I tell you a guy from a boy from Agra, person, how does one deal with such yeah. a boy from Agra comes and he's going to be your next superstar versus you know Rishi Kapoor's son is going to be your superstar? It's easier to accept the Rishi Kapoor's son. Yeah, boy from Agra. It's it's just something we all need to think about. Are we ready to accept that there is this talent? That's a very interesting uh, point. Are you ready to, for example, a highly gifted scientist? Are you ready to give him a professorship or associate professorship? Straight away, Straight away, bypassing a right. lecturer's appointment, right. no university would do it. We're going to have to leave it on that pessimistic note. A brilliant scientist in India would never get the rewards that he gets in the West. And as a civilization, perhaps we don't know what to do when we're confronted with talented people. Ranjit Nair, Ashish Nadi, Chetan Bhaga, thanks very much indeed for joining us. What are you telling us? Uh, in fact, can Indian universities ever throw up a Nobel laureate? 49, yes. 51, no.